human history is in large part the story of momentous events brought about by exceptional men, heroes whose vision, determination and courage impact not only on their own generation, but also remain as an inspiration to those who follow. Such a man was King Abdulaziz bin Abdurrahman al Saud, statesman, warrior, and architect of Saudi Arabia. This is the Muraba Palace, the historical seat of government. It was here, from this modest office, that King Abdulaziz managed the affairs of his young country. Today, the fully restored palace, with its many carefully preserved exhibits, attracts visitors of all kinds, including scholars and student groups from other countries. Regular parties of schoolchildren. Even the very young enjoy coming here. But why do we all care so much about the past? What is so attractive about historical places? What is the importance of history to adults and young people alike? Well, as His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Abdulaziz has said, we believe it is history that links the generations together. Therefore, it is our duty to the younger generation to make the history of the country, the efforts of our fathers and grandfathers, come alive before their eyes so that it becomes a beacon that will continue to light the way for coming generations. And who better to help us light this beacon of national pride and destiny than the founder of the country himself, King Abdulaziz bin Abdurrahman al Saud. Introducing the King Abdulaziz Foundation. Inspired by the depth of vision and strength of faith that lit the path to nationhood, the King Abdulaziz Foundation is an independent academic institution established in 1972 under the auspices of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Abdulaziz, who chairs the governing board of directors. It was mandated by the royal decree Daratu Imalik Abdulaziz. The term Ad-Dara connotes a vast fertile plain stretching between mountains where fruit and flowers abound and is singularly apt when one contemplates the richness and beneficence of the King Abdulaziz's legacy. The foundation complex is located in its new building at King Abdulaziz Historical Center in Riyadh, which was established to mark the centenary of the kingdom in 1999. The governing board supervises the complex administrative structure required to service day-to-day -day operations and to maintain the foundation's wide range of responsibilities and interests across the kingdom and around the world. As well as housing the Foundation's working departments, the complex is a unique heritage site in its own right and contains a number of important historical exhibitions, including the King Abdulaziz Memorial Hall. Here, on the upper floor, an extensive exhibit of historic photographs drawn from many sources and covering the life and times of the King surrounds and overlooks the main exhibition hall. Where numerous displays of books, documents, maps, weapons, and personal memorabilia of all kinds immediately bring us close to the historical reality of this great man.
Visitors of all ages are invited to share these fascinating insights into the king's personality and lifestyle. And the adjacent car exhibition adds another dimension to this vivid encounter with history. Back at the nearby Moraba Palace, visitors can enjoy not only the exhibits displayed inside, but also the building itself, which was completed in 1938, at which time the king took up residence together with his family, having moved from the old governing palace. Based around an open courtyard, the palace complex is two stories high and an excellent example of the simple wood, stone and clay style which prevailed across the region at that time. Set off from the colonnaded walkways surrounding the courtyard are the residential and service areas and offices. And on the upper floor, the all-important Aldiwan, in which the king addressed governmental and ceremonial gatherings. Perfectly restored, the Aldiwan is today one of the palace's key attractions. Since it was transferred from the Moraba Palace, the King Abdulaziz private library has been housed here in the foundation's central building. This unique collection consists of books and periodicals acquired by the king throughout his life and today attracts researchers and historians from all over the Arab world and beyond. To make research as easy as possible, the Foundation has classified and indexed every item in the library, together with all details regarding its provenance. And this foundation book about the king's private collection, which illustrates and explains the collection, has proved extremely popular with both scholars and the general public. The remainder of the complex is given over to the inner workings of the foundation, which are carried out by a number of specialized departments. The Information and Document Center. In this department, the Foundation maintains an archive of official proclamations, letters, studies and reports, all of which have been first verified, then dated and classified as to subject and source. So that the over 50,000 items which comprise this important national collection can be readily accessed by Foundation staff, scholars and researchers of all kinds. In addition, the department houses a variety of documents relating to King Abdulaziz and the kingdom's international activities. These have been obtained from German, French, British, American, Dutch, Italian, Russian and Ottoman sources. The historic manuscript collection contains a number of important originals, such as that of Ibn Hanam, a handwritten manuscript by Suleiman bin Sahman dated 1886. A theological treatise by Suleiman bin Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab, written in Daraya and dated 1805. And a collection of private papers. The Document Centre also maintains a microfilm record of documents, periodicals and newspapers which feature articles relating to the Kingdom. And within this department there are a number of other specialist sections. The Document Restoration and Heritage Preservation section. In this section, old documents from all sources are sorted and their authenticity verified. In the section's restoration laboratory, 
any damaged documents are carefully repaired and restored by experts in this highly specialized field. This service is available to any citizens willing to lend copies of original documents to the Foundation for exhibition or safekeeping. And the Photography and Film Archives section houses the Foundation's library of historic photographs and films. This archive is continuously being added to and, as a unique source of pictorial records, this section is constantly assisting research and educational institutions across the Kingdom and around the world. The Oral History and National Documentation Centre. Created as an independent department in 1996, the Oral History and Documentation Centre was set up to record and preserve the recollections of actual participants in the events of long ago. Many of the Foundation's oral records are eyewitness accounts of episodes in King Abdulaziz's life. These were obtained by seeking out potential contributors and sending field workers to make on-the-spot recordings. All of which were then verified and catalogued before being archived. Working in parallel with the oral history researchers, a similar kingdom-wide search for old documents, manuscripts and photographs has been undertaken. The combined result, known as the Survey of National Historical Sources, has been so successful that a second phase is to be implemented. The Foundation Library A central feature of the Foundation is the main library which comprises a vast collection of historical information. As well as the library itself, researchers can find a wealth of reference materials and documents, prints and illustrated books, newspapers, periodicals and press cuttings about King Abdulaziz and the Kingdom. Here too is kept the Foundation's collection of rare books. The Female Research Section A related section, administered by an all-female staff, contains its own extensive library of books and periodicals, administrative offices and research facilities and helps organize female participation in cultural activities. The Research and Publications Department. A supervising group of senior academics heads up this department, which reviews all research papers and manuscripts submitted to the Foundation for Publication. It also acts as a central information service and initiates and monitors the overall indexing system. The Foundation is a very prolific publisher. Its output includes a special series of books about the King, the Kingdom and the Islamic world. Regular publications like the Al Tarihiya newsletter, which covers contemporary events and topical issues. And the Al Dara journal, a research quarterly dealing with contemporary attitudes to history and culture. On its 25th anniversary, Al Dara was upgraded and the scope of its contents widened. Testimony to the continuing success of this respected publication. In addition, the Foundation produces and publishes a wide variety of atlases, 
encyclopedias, historical dictionaries, records, and reference books of all kinds. And the King Abdulaziz photographic exhibition has also been produced in book form. Many foundation books are published in two languages, and all of them are available from the foundation bookstore. The Geographical Information Center. The Geographical Information Center is housed in what used to be the storehouse, which is linked by bridge to the central foundation building. Using the latest technology and systems, and drawing upon a vast archive of maps and aerial photography, this department compiles historical atlases for educational purposes in association with the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Higher Education, and the Presidency of Girls' Schools, and is also responsible for the definitive historical atlas of Saudi Arabia. The Computer Center. No organization of this complexity could run efficiently without sophisticated computer systems. The foundation maintains a massive but highly accessible interactive database, serving both internal administrators and researchers. The computer center is the conduit through which all electronic publishing is routed and is also responsible for the design and maintenance of the Foundation's internet web pages. Conferences and Exhibitions The Foundation hosts a large number of activities and events, such as the Moraba Palace Lectures, which follow a tradition initiated in King Abdulaziz's lifetime. And the Cultural Festival, which is a season of symposia focusing on a variety of historical subjects and featuring leading academics and scientists. Exhibitions held at the Foundation include the Kingdom and United Nations Exhibition. The Dutch Mission in Saudi Arabia Exhibition. The King Abdulaziz Through British Eyes Exhibition. And the Gift of Friendship Exhibition. And of course, the Foundation also takes part in many external events. In its role as an important cultural center, the Foundation is honored to host the many dignitaries who come to visit the Foundation. To welcome them, historians, students, and visitors of all kinds who come from near and far to share with us the rich legacy of King Abdulaziz and to pay their respects to the memory of a man whose influence today reaches far beyond the shores of the nation he founded.